harmonica. For there are warm words in each doorstep. There is syrup of bread that feeds on the seasons. Those ever tucked in tuberoses, the ground we dig into until the green pastures change. A torch with few fireflies to extinguish my inner volcano fuming against all the bright souls. An ocean's wilderness of turbulent waters is unmatched by clear clouds. The golden sun disappears as if they were hinged on the grand darkness, narrow, crystal, with the French tulips wrapped all around. You feel age with good memories, smiling at the lover's reflector. You feel like a young goat, wide-legged and far-fetched. Dear Hydrangea, dear Nostalgia. Dear Hydrangea, dear Nostalgia, immeasurable air will not dwindle, a petal crumbled. Well, without a fumble, the flattened outer cups into scent, design, and power. It is not due to your merit. Mere nostrils reinforced preemptively would spread out. That wasn't you on the lake. Burn out inside the house, a flattened stomach and a skinless finger. Deep down in the sea, dark, white scarred, forgotten, toes up in the rain. What do I have to say? Ask my father about his fears since the pencil's sharp and black, since all tin plates could be bent, since the crustaceans that took the lobster's shell has already ceased to move. Um, the next poem is called Many Nights. Uh, this is one of my favorite poems. <laughs> you know, you, you, you have favorite ones, some of them. Okay, here we go. You've shown me how the moon fades, blink after blink. The moon ran after mall, the emotions like goldfish in a pond. The pond washed its face, the finches followed. Though you lied to yourself, only it hasn't been the moon. And how she made it, I did not know. There was a purse cascade that men and women in love will be failing nonsense until they engulf both words. Adolescent in black breaks down the morning bells or lends the rest to sheer. It stays with me for a while. <laughs> so I guess that's, that's the reason why I really love that one. Uh, the next one is called Entry. Unlike a bridge of musk-hued flowers running through the warm streams to the Danube, I, a distasteful one, have exited your country. The green moss falls like spiral waves of fish looming. Your hatred falls backwards on me, doomed. A blue-purple sun above a bright sea, a moonrise of shiny ivory amid the wind through the seashells. Life an archaic affair. An old apple tree under the tip of Grand City. Aspiration in the dense mist, the black whale deep in the ocean, the sea star that waves have taken long overcome by mist. Our dissolution eroded by them. Enigma. Whoever exposed the stars and crowds behind the river tagged things along from the day when a country is relocated by mountain stores, excavating with dirt every misstep, reminiscing a solo in the Star Trek. We are seen with what is real and surreal, rescinding with an eagle's eye or swung nearby a jelly-like kingdom when it's improbable to eat only the jellyfish or drink seawater. A parachute, the neon light, closes the disquiet. Someone is taken up to the mountain. Now the eagle is blind.
From the stare of, the, of this ego, could it be the sky himself? 